Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Dear Heavenly Father, we simply want to say thank you, Lord, for another day. We simply want to honor you first and foremost, God, because you have truly been good to us. Thanking you, Father God, for the activity of our limbs. Thank you, Father God, for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I pray, Father God, that you would decrease me right now in this video, Father God. Take me out of self right now in the name of Jesus. It is not about me, but it's about you, Father God. Pray that you will get the increase out of my life in the name of Jesus. Pray that everything that I do, Father God, is unto the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, because if it had not been for you who was really on my side, I wouldn't be here today to tell of your goodness, to tell of your mercy and to tell of your greatness. Thank you for the chosen one. Bless each and every chosen one that is watching this video in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that you will give them knowledge, wisdom and understanding, Father God, of this video, of this message right now in the name of Jesus. Speak through me, Father God. So somebody in the comments might say, what must I do to be saved today? Because that's what it's all about when it's all said and done. We come against any negative spirits, any negative energy, any negative force of darkness, anything that's not lightning or pleasant in your sight. We come against it all right now in the name of Jesus. We put on the whole armor of God so we can withstand the fiery darts coming from Satan himself. Go back to the pits of hell to where you belong in the name of Jesus. You will not have dominion over the chosen one's life in the name of Jesus. Fill me up with your anointing. Fill me up with your Holy Spirit. Fill me up with your presence right now in the name of Jesus. Let your Holy Ghost and your Holy Spirit rest and rule on this video right now. Give me a fresher anointing. Forgive us for every sin. Wash us. Cleanse us in your precious blood in the name of Jesus. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In all these many blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Let every chosen one say amen. And amen again. Shout out to the WTC gang. We the chosen ones, baby. Don't tell anyone. What God is doing for you. Jealous energy. Can throw off manifestation. Keep them guessing. I need everybody to please share this video. Because let me tell you something. People are really trying to figure out. Why God is blessing you the way he's blessing you. People are trying to be sneaky, conniving, nosy. They want to be all in your business. They want to be all in your 411. Everybody's hand is out. And I'm going to tell you why everybody's hand is out. I'm going to tell you why everybody is watching you, chosen ones. Because of the simple fact you are successful. You have to put on the whole armor of God when you are successful. Even when you're not successful, you have to put on the whole armor of God. But it's for some reason, when God elevates you in this season, chosen one, when God takes you to a totally different level that you've never been before, you really got to put on the whole armor of God. Because the fiery darts are coming from east, west, north, and south. Oh, they coming. You have to understand that each and every new level is going to require a new devil. Each new level, here comes a new devil. You're going to have to knock that devil out. Every time he try to hinder your blessing, every time he try to speak negative over your life, every time he try to pray, you know, downfall, he try to pray a downfall over your life, you got to knock that devil out. And we're not talking about physically, we're talking about knock him out with prayer. Knock the devil out with fasting. Knock the devil out with meditating on God day and night. Knock the devil out by putting him in his place. God has given us all power. God has given us the authority. God has given us the anointing to destroy every single yoke. God has given us all power to stump on scorpions and snakes. And by any means, it will not harm us, y'all. 
People are doing sneaky stuff behind your back, chosen ones. Stop telling everybody what God is doing for you. Because let me tell you something, that jealous energy that they possess. Have you ever noticed when you told somebody what God is doing and immediately you start feeling a jealous energy towards you? I'm not going to sit up here and cap. I done told plenty of people before what God was doing for me in my life. And come to find out these people wasn't really happy for me. You know why? how I know they weren't happy for me? Because these people are not happy with themselves. They're not even happy with their own lives. They're not even happy with, with the progress, progress that they're producing on an everyday basis. And I'm constantly telling people what God is doing for me. This was in the past. As I began to grow in the fear and ambition of God, as I began to get stronger in his word, as my prayer life began to get stronger, I realized that jealous energy can throw off manifestation. Let's not get it twisted. Manifestation is real. You got to speak it into existence. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, I'm going to claim my blessing. I'm going to speak my blessing into existence. It's real. Manifestation is real. But you have to understand that when you tell people what God is doing in your life, they're immediately going to get jealous of you. Not everybody. That's why you have to ask God to give you the spirit of discernment to discern who is right for you, who was against you, who is wrong for you. God, give me the spirit of discernment strongly so I can know who to duck or dodge. Because that's what the spirit of discernment, the spirit of discernment is pretty much telling you what people are about. You can read people without them even telling them, without them telling you what they're about. You can automatically read what their life is about. You can dissect and, and detect their spirits and their energy. And you have to understand that when you tell people that are jealous of you or when you tell people that's not on the same level as you, that jealous energy can throw off that manifestation. Have you ever heard that saying, do not count your eggs before they hatch? That is a true saying. Or have you ever heard this true saying, it doesn't count unless it's in your hand. Sometimes we telling people what God is doing and God ain't, he ain't finished, he ain't finished processing the blessing yet. You know, tell everybody, you, now you're sharing all your goods. God is getting ready to bless you. He's getting ready to open up these windows of heaven and pour out a supernatural blessing. And there you go. You about to go tell somebody that don't even like you what God is doing for you. Where they do that at? Huh? Y'all better pay attention to the signs. Don't tell nobody nothing what God is doing for you unless God instructed you to tell them. It's a time and place for everything. It's a time and place for you to give your testimony. It's, it's a time and place for you to share your blessings. But right now it ain't the time. Because we're living in our last and evil days. And it seems like everywhere you go, people possess a jealous energy. Because of the pandemic, I didn't fall because of the pandemic came. I didn't give up because this COVID-19 came. I didn't throw in the towel because they tell my monkey pox is starting to, you know, trample all over the world. I'm not throwing in the towel. As a matter of fact, the pandemic made me better. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say the pandemic made me better. But I got to keep it real. The majority of the people in this world. It made the majority of the people in this world bitter. The COVID-19 made the majority of the people in this world bitter. Why do you think there's so many deaths now? Why do you think there's so many diseases coming out now? They want us to fall. This is all the plan. But I'm here to tell you, are you going to stay in the race? I'm not going to let no COVID-19. I'm not going to let no pandemic. I'm not going to let no jealous energy throw off my manifestation because I'm going to keep my mouth closed. I need everybody to put this in the comments below and say a private life is the happy life. Private life is the happy life. You got to be private. You got to be humble. Because what God is doing for you, he not doing the same thing he doing for them. So all I'm telling you right now is to remain humble. God told me to tell you to be still, be steadfast, unmovable. Don't you move a muscle. Because we already know that the blessings of the Lord makes rich. 
over the chosen one's life. We can't go around telling everybody everything. Because we already know that jealous energy, that demonic energy, those demonic spirits, it can throw off your manifestation. Everything that you manifested, it can be taken away just by somebody praying on your downfall. But no weapon formed against you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Be a blessing to my YouTube channel. My PayPal and my cash app will be in the description below. And don't you ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world, your boy. We the chosen ones. Stop telling people what God is doing for you. Be blessed.